have been various modes of communication, but the oldest bearer of urgent news, the telegram, will be gone once and for all. The last telegram will be sent on July 16th, after BSNL decided to do away with the 160-year-old service. So has the good old TAR or the telegram been silenced by mobile phones, emails and SMSs? Has it been unable to live up to the 21st century? Let's find out. Actually, this is not economically viable. In terms of economic terms, its response is zero in the day of today. Those who are our customers, they are not coming. So, from this cause, we are closing it. The first telegram was sent in 1850 between Calcutta and Diamond Harbour. Within three years, over 6,000 kilometers of telegraph lines were placed connecting Calcutta, Peshawar, Mumbai, Chennai, Uti and Bangalore. But despite several technical upgrades in the telegraph service, it has been dying a slow death. कई इलाके ऐसे हैं कि जहाँ ना मोबाइल वगैरह वो नहीं होते हैं वो तो अपने टेलीग्राम पर ही निर्भर होते हैं ना पोस्ट ऑफिस या या डाका ना या या हमारे यहाँ। For 70-year-old Ram Prasad Singh, telegram is how he chatted with his wife 40 years back. Today he is here to send a telegram to his 10-year-old grandson in Mumbai, just to keep the tradition alive. बॉम्बे में रहते हैं वो और उसको टेलीग्राम के बारे में बताना चाहते हैं कि पोस्ट ऑफिस के अंदर टेलीग्राम होता है कुछ के पोस्ट ऑफिस के टिकट वगैरह से लेटर पोस्ट किए जाते हैं ये सब चीजें। It is a bitter sweet moment for the telegraph staff too, who will now be shifted to the modern day successors like mobile services and broadband services over the next few months. Even as I just sent my first telegram to my grandmother in Allahabad and I await her response, there's a certain buzz in this unassuming telegram office. Hundreds of telegrams have been coming in from across the country, all addressed to the Prime Minister, saying, let the good old star continue. Till then, with camera person Sanjay Kaushik, I'm Sonal Mirotra for NDTV.